Are you looking for a simple editing tool? You're new to making videos for YouTube or for whatever other reason. Maybe you're making some FaceTime videos for Facebook, but you're really pretty new and you hear about um, people talking about how to edit and you're really not sure where to go. I know when I first started, I thought I had to put out a lot of money and buy some fancy editing tool and I didn't. The one that I'm getting ready to show you is called Camtasia and I bought it a couple years ago now and I've been very, very happy with it. I do not have a big background in videography um, and so for me, it was very simple, easy to use, editing for dummies, I guess, right? So I want to show you very basic editing things that you can do with it. Now you can do more, but I'm assuming that you're brand new because you're looking for a simple editing tool. And that's what I want to show you. Just some simple things that you can do to get started. And like I said, they have updates, uh, periodically you always get those and everything that I have needed at my level, it's been there. Now, if you want to start getting really fancy, you might want to go to another channel. <laughs> so right now I'm very basic, very simple. That's the motto of my life. Keep it simple. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. And that's sometimes what scares us away from doing new things is because we think we have to have all this knowledge and you don't, you need to just jump in, start doing it and keep it simple. So let's look at Camtasia. Okay. I went ahead and brought up a video that I'm actually getting ready to use as a demo for another video that I'm making. But I thought before I um, use it, I wanted to keep it here in my Camtasia and now I'm recording, which is kind of cool. I can record myself in Camtasia. Now, after I upload my video or after I um, record, I always record just me with a Google background. And the reason I do that is so that I know, oh, that's where I want to put my face, my myself. If I'm doing a desk share or I'm maybe showing you how to use um, a certain tool that I use, maybe I want to show you how to use, I'm trying to think some active campaign and maybe I'm doing a review, then I would pull that up in the tab. And when I see that, then I know, oh, that's what I want to show instead of me. Does that make sense? So for me, I just put the Google in the background and that's a real quick key that, hey, you know, I want to, I want to move it. So let's go up here. And what you do is you just kind of, I downsize it. Some people might go in and, and remove it. There's two tracks. The track at the bottom has the desk share and the one in the front has me. Now I do not have a fancy camera. I use my webcam and I actually have it on a tripod sitting maybe three feet from me. And the reason I do that is because I noticed when I put my webcam on my camera, it makes my face really big on the camera and I, and I don't like that. So I have it back. Um, you can see that I have a brick wall behind me. There's a window and a sliding glass door. Um, I'm going to take all that out. I'm just going to keep making this bigger so that all that white stuff is gone. I know that it works because I've already kind of set it and there you go and i want to you know bring myself down a little bit and there you go so now for the rest of the entire video this video is only three minutes long that is what you'll see now let's say that i'm moving along i'm going to move this little thing here i'm not going to turn it on but you can see i'm talking i i um i actually was making faces and things because i wanted to show you how you could use um your video and make thumbnails so ignore the content <laughs> watch the editing but one of the things you can do is let's say i don't want to show myself there okay maybe i want to show change my face there okay go up here to where it says edit not file edit and it says right here separate um split all and if you click that everything before that divider will be my big face. And let's say now I don't want to do my big face. Let's say instead I want the background. So now I can change it. And this is how people change their backgrounds. Okay. Now I can change it. I can put my, I can take myself completely off of the screen. Some people like to do that, or I can downsize myself to where I'm just in the corner. Okay. So those are just how you can change your screen as you go along. So each time you want to change what you're showing, remember to split it. So here we go again. We're going to move, 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 move. And now I'm going to split it again. Just hit split again. And now I want my face to be there again. Okay. Maybe I want myself halfway on the screen this time. 
Okay, let's do something like that. Let's get a little fancy here. We're going to take this out of the background and hide that. Now, maybe I want something on the side. So I can go up here into annotations and there's a little box right here. See where it's white? I can double click it. Oh, I double click twice. And I can make this box as big as this area on the side if I want like that. Let's get rid of that box. And then I can type some words in here. Uh, maybe I can put a quote. Maybe I've been talking about a list of things. I can put one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't usually one. So, and, and maybe these were things I was talking about. Maybe I'll add to that list as I go along, but that's the way. And if you click, you always want to get rid of those circles and everything. See the little things. So that's another way that you can change your screen. Um, uh, let's move along again. So we're going, 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 and now I'm going to change it again right at the end of that. See how I want to make sure right there I'm going to change my screen. And now maybe I, I got rid of that and maybe I'm going to go back to where I take up the whole screen, but maybe I want to put something over here. Um, see that? Maybe I want to say wow or something. You can put it way up here if you want. Um, that might not have been a good one because my face isn't. Let's do this one. There's purple. I can, again, that should be over here. All righty. All the, they're all assuming that we're on the right. Uh, let's do an arrow. Here we go. Arrow. And I can type something in here. Okay. I can make that smaller by grabbing the corner and I can make it point to anything I want. You can even turn it if you'd like, but you can put anything on the screen. Now, what if I want to put something on the screen that isn't one of my choices? I can go up here to where it says media and I can pull something into the media area. And what I did, I did resume, I did um, pause the camera just for a minute and I went over to the media bin. I have a folder on my desktop. I just call it thumbnails or you can call it icons, call it pictures, whatever you want. And these are some of the things that were in there. I just randomly went in and chose a few things. Um, every once in a while on my screen, I might put subscribe now. And you can just go into images, Google it, and find some different images that say subscribe now. And you can let them be in the background while you're talking. It, that's how people bring things in as they're talking. Um, sometimes people will bring emojis and animated things. Now, I haven't used animated things yet. I typically just bring in stills. But basically, as long as I want that to run, it'll be there, see? And down here, oh, it ran out. Maybe I still wanted it to run. I just take that little side and I pull it and there you go. Now it's gone. Maybe I'm talking about a new program that I have. It's called Conquer. Maybe um, something as an affiliate marketer, I'm talking about it. So I could put up some pictures about that. I can also pull in as I'm videotaping, I can bring up a PowerPoint. I'm, I'm sure you know all that. I just wanna show you how you can edit it once you filmed it. Um, there's another little thing. Again, I can pull it in. Um, here's another one, the bell. You know, Anything I want, I just drag it in. Now notice there's two. Um, what will happen every time, if you have three or four things on the same page, it'll just keep creating a new track. Now, let's say that I'm filming and I want to cover up the conquer. I, I, I could just take it and make it smaller and make it disappear. But let's say it's something on the video. Maybe I had a picture on the wall in the background, or maybe I was videotaping uh, some of my income and I didn't really want you to see parts of that. Maybe I didn't want you to see my password or my or some other information. You can cover that. You wanna go back to annotations, whoops. And here where it's a little teardrop, you wanna select that. And right here is a pixel, pixelate. You can hide whatever you don't want to show and just cover, you pixelate it. And that's how people cover up things when they're videotaping. Um, some private information and it's hard to cover it. So go ahead and videotape everything you want, but then go back to that page and cover it with a pixelate. Now, I got to give you a piece of advice. The first time I did that, I was showing a screen that I really didn't want a lot of the information shown. And the mistake that I made, I was scrolling the screen. Well, then I had to, I had a hard time. Not, if you're going to show a screen that has information that you don't want shown, 
just leave it still so that when you pixelate it, that pixelate will cover that area. Because if you're scrolling and jumping around all over the place, then that is gonna stay still and your screen's moving. Does, I hope that makes sense. But that was my mistake I made the first time I used it. So other things that you can use, you have um, point, little arrows that you can add on your screen. Let's move this over so we can get rid of some of that stuff. Again, ignore my face there. There, my, there. There's an arrow. So maybe I want to point to something like, hey, see my, oops, <laughs> try to move the arrow. But anyway, I can point to something with my arrows. I can go to the next one and I can add, there's a, just some few icons here. So there's a star. Now I have a little wand but I can put that wherever I want. And again, if you want to put some emojis and things like that, you're going to bring them in yourself into the media part. Um, here are some other neat things. You know, you can say, you know, I don't want that. That's a big X. And I don't know what happened here. Okay, so this is good to show you. Okay, we messed up. Look at my tracks down there. Somehow I messed them up. So I'm doing undo, I'm moving them. And there we go. All right, so you have that and then you have a cursor that you can use as well. Um, in annotations, then you're going to go down to behaviors. If you go into behaviors, you can um, drift your words as you bring them in. Okay. And so when you have the video, see how they can all move. You can have them come in one letter at a time. You can go into animations down here. Um, this is where you can um, zoom in and out. So right now you see the size of my face. I can zoom like that. I can zoom it in and out while your videotape and so you don't have to um, separate it if you don't want to you don't have to go in and put those dividers you can do it with the divider or you can pan in and out zoom and pan um, animations um, you've got different choices here and cursors are down here you have different cursor effects you can pick the one with the big circle a, ma a magnify or a spotlight i tend to use the spotlight so if you're doing a review or tutorial video you can go in now these are just simple things that's it okay I'm going to give you one more piece of advice. If your video, while you're videotaping, this has nothing to do with editing as much, but let's say you're monetized. To be monetized and have the ads go into the middle of your video, which gives you more opportunity to get more funds for monetization, you have to be 10 minutes long. And I have found myself sometimes being at nine minutes and 50 seconds. Make sure you run the clock out until it hits that 10 minutes. And what you can do at the end of the screen, instead of just playing it out and have nothing go on, you could maybe bring in a quote at the end for those last 30 seconds and maybe play some soft music. But this is where you can add that and fill in that space to make sure you get to the 10 minutes. Now, I don't recommend doing that for two minutes or three minutes, but oh, I don't know how many times I've gotten to, like I said, nine minutes and 15 seconds, nine minutes and 30 seconds. And it's to the point where I don't have anything else to say. I'm done. So now what I do is I run it out it's over t over 10 minutes because I can always chop it off the end. Go go 10 minutes and 20 seconds just to be sure or even go to 11 minutes and then go finish filling up the end and chopping out what you don't need. So that's just a little tip to, to help you get to your 10 minutes if you're very, very close. I hope this was helpful because Camtasia, like I said, I believe it's still under $200. Um, you might go, oh my gosh, I was like that. I did not want to spend any money when I first started because all the videos out there said, you can start making money and not have to spend money. You do have to spend money. You have to spend money to make money. I'm just being honest with you. But this is an investment that I've made that I've been very, very, very pleased with. Excellent for beginners. And like I said, I'm sure it does more complicated things. But those are all the, the basics that I have been using for me. And it has met my purposes. And again, it's been two years, so it's not something that goes out of date. Um, they keep updating and adding new things and, and stuff like that. So there you go. The link is below if you want to check it out. 
and play around with it. I know when you're investing, you, you want to make sure it's something you like, but I can, I back this a hundred percent. I very pleased. Actually, I had my husband, we're older. And you know, when you have to buy gifts, you have a pretty much everything. When you want something, you go get it. And I said, why don't I buy Camtasia and that could be my Christmas present. He's like, yes, okay. Sounds like a deal. So uh, <laughs> that's how I got it. Um, and he got off the hook and didn't have to worry about a gift, right? And I was more than happy to have that gift. It was wonderful. So, you know, try that. If you're at that point and your spouse doesn't know what to get you, say, hey, this is something I'd like to have. Hey, and before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification link so that whenever I produce a video, I do them weekly, then you can get first a notification and go right in and watch it right away. I appreciate you making it to the end and I appreciate you watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.